Today, we'll address the options that are available to a CFP professional when the professional is required to provide financial planning, but the client does not want to engage the CFP professional to provide financial planning. In those situations, the CFP professional has four options. The first option is to not enter into the engagement. The second option is to limit the scope of engagement to services that do not require financial planning and describe to the client the services the client requests that the CFP professional will not be performing. An example of this is where the client seeks advice on three topics that would require financial planning, but the client does not want to engage a CFP professional for financial planning. In that circumstance, a CFP professional may limit the scope of the engagement to advice on topic one, if that would not require financial planning, and then advise the client that the CFP professional will not be providing financial advice on the second and third topics. A third option is for the CFP professional to inform the client how financial planning would benefit the client and how the decision not to engage a CFP professional to provide financial planning may limit the CFP professional's financial advice. In that circumstance, the CFP professional may provide financial advice on all three topics without being required to provide financial planning. The fourth and final option is to terminate the engagement. In another set of videos, we'll discuss the seven-step financial planning process. To learn more about the new Code of Ethics and Standards of Conduct, visit cfp.net slash code.